Hey guys, D Mike here from their episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I'm always afraid that sometime I'm going to boot up into this game that I'm going to say the complete wrong name or call the Super Nintendo Sundays. It's bound to happen. But anyway, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series so far. If you have, please make sure that you're liking the videos, commenting if you're interested in discussion, and uh, subscribing if you haven't. So thanks a lot everybody for enjoying things so far and let's go ahead and get started. We touched down on the tropical wilds for the first time last episode and there's a bunch of fruit to collect not all of which we'll be able to do you know in our first trips here but we'll do our best the last episode was what i would identify as kind of organized chaos that's kind of par for the course when it comes to playing this game at least in my opinion when you first start it just kind of seems like everything that you do is chaotic and I think that the big reason for that is just because of how much there is to do like how much you could possibly do I feel like that's kind of a good way to frame it how much you possibly could be doing you know there's so much in terms of open world and different areas you can explore that realistically speaking you know there's nothing short of you know making a mission whatever you want it to be so that's the fun of this game. Hopefully this will let me dig bomb rocks out of it. I don't know if it will. But if we remember from the last episode, those bomb rack, bomb racks, bomb rocks were what led us destroy this wall here. So there is a bombable wall across the bridge that impeded our progress last time as the yellow Pikmin find their way out of the anthill. So we'll have three of them pick up the bomb rocks. And once again, as the game showed, it differentiates between the yellow Pikmin that have bombs and the ones that don't. So it's very nice. It prevents you from blowing up your squad. You don't want to do that. You don't want to blow up your homies. So just throw them one at a time. Your Pikmin will drop the bomb in front of the wall. Or not. I don't know if that actually worked. It looked like it did. I thought I saw cracks in the wall. And then one more should do it. And that should give us open passage to that area. It does. That's one of the nice things about this game is that it resets some of the quality. So this is where we collected the grapes and had to deal with those turdish little grubs that were preventing us from being able to move around. That was kind of annoying. So we're going to keep moving around here. One of the things that you'll find in the tropical wilds is that it's mostly the same enemies, I would say, based on what we've seen so far. There's a few new ones. There was that weird water crab that will definitely not cause a headache for me in the future, I guarantee it. That's around. A lot of the aquatic enemies are unfortunately still not something we can handle for the moment. And I mean, for obvious reasons. So let's see how many reds it would take to carry this. All right, I guess they can. Some of our guys wanted to partake in some shrooms. That's fine. Whatever gets your goat, I suppose, guys. There's bomb rocks over here, too, just kind of hanging out. So, yeah. All right. Well, um,. I did not know that. I actually forgot about that being a thing. All Pikmin in this game can carry bombs, so it doesn't have to be just your yellows. I don't know if all of your Pikmin can equally dig, though. That might be kind of a crux of what you're trying to do, so we'll find out. I mean, I, I mean, actually, I think all Pikmin can dig. It would make sense that they can, because if memory serves me correctly, one of the things that we dealt with was... Uh, one of the distant tundra visits, I had all kinds of different Pikmin trying to dig, and they did not do a very good job. So maybe that's just kind of like a yellow specialty thing, but technically, actually, any of the Pikmin can, can carry it. Now, we don't have the ability to get this, as you can see, because of the waterfall impeding our progress. I remember when I played this game casually... I love to say that when I play games, like as if I professionally play them. When I played this game casually for the first time on the Wii U, the peach up there, or sorry, the the butt-shaped fruit that we don't know what it is. Oops, spoilers. It, um, it was one of the last things I got, and I don't remember if that's just because I forgot about it or, or what, but I definitely did not have that is one of the things that I got here. I, I remember it being something that I came back for. Because the Tropical Wilds as a location is... I don't know, I guess in the maps... 
the way that I would identify it is kind of more forgettable, to be honest. Also, this is taking forever. Excuse me. Let's get everybody going. Oh, I'm trying to... Trying to... To charge Brittany at the puzzle pieces. Now, I had to be careful there, because I actually almost picked the, uh, the bomb rocks, and that would have killed everybody. So... Oof. Thankfully, that did not happen. And these little grubs are annoying. They're going to try to impede your progress, so... Yeah. But that's basically it. They're moving away. Stampede. All right, so I believe our reds carried that, uh, carried that big pellet away. So that's really nice. We're gonna lock on with, uh, oh, nope. Nope. We are gonna lock on with our, yep. Excuse me. Get out of here. I need this, this little jerk to come over here. All right, come here, come here. I can't, I'm having trouble locking onto the right things here. He's just so darn fast that I just can't pick it up. Also, I did not assign that yellow to do that. So he is defying his commander's orders. Excuse me. You think you're in charge here? And we do have some yellows left, so I'll use them to... dig up this. Now that we know what it is, a mango steam. I shared that, uh... Great. Wonderful news. I shared that information with some friends who follow along, so for those of you watching that know me IRL, thank you for all of your continued support. I uh, showed them that, and uh, yeah, apparently mangosteens are sort of a rarer fruit, and they apparently are really expensive. So I, I would love to, to try a mangosteen. I don't know where you get mango steens? I mean, I'm assuming obviously from like a farmer's market or something like that. But, yeah. I don't know. It would be... I gotta be careful here, I don't want to throw any bomb rocks. It would be a blast to try to try... try, try to try. Something like that. Alright, so here's another Captain Olimar input. Here we go. With one more person. We're picking up a strong signal, but we can't seem to actually reach it. If we had a third party, we might be able to, but I just got an out-of-office message from the boss. He probably doesn't get much reception at the beach. We're kind of on a beach, too, but it's not quite the same. So, this is basically the game telling you that in order to pull off this stunt, stunting on them, on them suckas, you have to uh, split it up, split up your, your squad here. So, we're just going to take a quick surveillance here. Okay, just making sure. I don't know if I have enough Pikmin thrown. I might have to do this. And I don't remember if, like, the interface that we have here for the tossing of the Pikmins. I feel like I'm gonna need to toss more. Not Bomb Rock Pikmin. That's one of the things that I'm gonna be perpetually scared about, so I honestly probably should just do, you know, the intelligent thing. But, you know, that would require me to use my, my nagging. Um, do the intelligent thing and just toss the Bomb Rock Pikmin away. So... Maybe eventually we'll figure that out. No, I don't want you to go for that pellet. There's so much insubordination in this episode, I just cannot heck and believe it. All right, so it was 10. I didn't really need all of them. I don't know what sort of a detour this creates. Once again, it's been so long since I've played this that realistically speaking, me knowing where all of this goes, you know, that's, I don't know, maybe it's unprofessional. You can qualify it however you'd want to, but I I don't have a ton of muscle memory for all of this. It looks like this just puts us right outside where we started. So this was the area that we went to last time and saw that little cavern. Probably want to go back in there eventually too. So I think there's got to be a way. Yeah, all right. So there's a way down here. Brittany can take a little dip. Take a little dip. It's one of those water skitters. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have Alf bring it around town, because we can't go the other way, so... And there's another, um... Here's another of these big pellets. I would like it to wait until it's gray, please. Okay, or not, that's fine. That's fine. When I see these pellets, it makes me think of, um... When I was a kid, I used to go to the grocery store, and if I ever had, uh... a self-proclaimed sore throat, I would make sure that my mom and dad, I would always, you know, alert them to that and be like, you know, I need, I need cough drops. I need cough drops for my very sore throat, you know, being a little baby about it. There used to be these little 
cherry throat drops that you could get at the store, which for all intents and purposes were basically just candy, like if I'm being completely honest. I don't know, there's probably some medicinal quality to them, that's probably, you know, part of government regulations, etc. But yeah, they basically just tasted like candy, and I remember that I'd always ask for them because it, you know, I don't know if it made me feel better, maybe it was like a placebo effect, but they were super sweet, super cherry flavored, and I'm always a big fan of cherry flavored anything, so I was always a sucker for that. Now, is this the path we went to where that turd burglar was trying to... No. Ooh, would you look at that? That's... that's something. That looks like an upgrade if I've ever seen one. We should get it back to the Drake for analysis as I send no Pikmin with, with Brittany, so that was a great job. Sometimes before I do an episode, I'll do a little scouting around because I'd like to see what's available, what's kind of a safe route of passage. I don't want to just doom myself. Also, it makes these episodes a little bit less chaotic. But then again, I mean like, hey, like, how much fun are we having if we can't just mindlessly explore a Pikmin game, right? So there we go. That looks like that power up is in safe, safe keeping for now. And I don't know if I want... Hopefully I can get back up from where I'm going. It does not look like I can, so I have doomed myself as per usual. So I'll call, go ahead and whistle off the Pikmin for a moment and see what this says. Another message from Captain Olimar, journal entry four, here we go. It's been so long. I hope my son and daughter back on Hokotate haven't forgotten about their father. Once my work here is done, I'm taking an extended holiday so we can take a spacecation. I like that. We might not have the budget to go far, but that's okay, as long as we're together. Captain Olimar. That's very sweet, very thoughtful. That's what, uh, you know, that's kind of a good, a good kind of idea in life to live by, is that, you know, you don't necessarily have to have a big budget vacation, you don't have to do anything wild. Unless you're in the tropical wilds, then everything's wild. But yeah, just go out and, uh, enjoy company. Spend time with your family and friends, if you can. All right, so that's a little message, a little bit of an updated Hint that bull borbs are... I got some weak eyeballs. Oop. We got some shear grubs here trying to attack us as we're being interrupted by the Drake for our brand new power-up. Let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Suit power-up number three. Although I guess technically the dodge whistle is not like a suit power-up, so this is maybe just power-up number two. Two and a half, whatever you want to call it. It's Metal Suit Z. This undergarment increases the spacesuit's durability. Excellent. It does look like it's in... It looks kind of like it's been MacGyvered. Kind of put together. But yeah, this is great. This basically just... Uh, it's a little bit of a defense boost. So that's nice. Not that we really need that right now. You know, I'm not going into... Into crazy battles in the moment, but... I can guarantee that there will be moments in the future where that will be a thing. All right, looks like this box is in the way, maybe. So let's have uh, let's have Alf throw Charlie and give Brittany some company. This way, we don't wind up having Brittany all by her lonesome. I don't quite know how many I need, but that should be good enough. So we'll follow her around town. We're gonna bring it around town as we do because we're professional bringing around towners. Avoid that water. Nobody's getting punished today. Okay. So we've got some pieces of exploration here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill that big bull boar because I am a sadist. And uh, it deserves it. Oh, it would help if I, what is happening here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here squad, huh? Can we focus? Can we focus on trying to kill the local wildlife? There we go. Ah, there you go. And you wanted to attack us because you're upset. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. How, how's that little guy? You like that? It's not like it said meow. Well, you have meowed your last meow. All right. So that wasn't too bad. Usually you would expect to want to do that with um, like reds, etc. But, you know, 
But you're gonna need yellows in this moment because they're the only ones that can be thrown onto whatever this is. Kind of looks like a, a giant almond or an onion of some sort. Not sure exactly where our Pikmin are gonna take that. Cause I don't know where I am in relation to the Drake. All right, we got some sheer grubs here being, oh, they're okay. That's not cool. Well, you're about to die for that. Eating our yellow Pikmin like a little jerk. I did not know that was gonna happen. So I think this is safe passage, maybe. Not entirely sure where that leads to, but they're headed up through a, oh boy. Uh, okay. That seems like super dangerous. So let's hold off on that for a moment, shall we? I wanna push this box. Or is it, do I have to squish the box? Am I pushing the box? What am I doing with this box? What's in the box? All right, it might be a thing where you gotta squish the box. Is that it? Do I have to set enough Pikmin on top of it to squish it? I don't quite understand what is happening here. All right, it does not appear to, to do any of that. Cause I don't think, great. Yeah, awesome. That's, that's, that's super cool. Extra fun. All right, well, we'll just send the Pikmin we have. Head into this cave. Oh yeah, good thing I scouted ahead with my two red Pikmin. Take on, Mu no, not the mushrooms, get over here. Come on guys. You, you, guy, hey, whoa. Everybody, slow, slow down. Everything, everything is a disaster. This is a disaster. I'm gonna need you to quit. The only other red that I had, okay. Oh, we're so distracted, just like me. This is a metaphor for my life. There you go. I don't know, I believe the rest of the reds are with Alf. I don't know if there's anything else I can do over here besides just head back. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of stuck here, unfortunately. It's the most I can do with Alf. I can't really throw anymore without wasting a ton of time. That's okay. And all the remaining reds are in the safety circle as we love to keep them. Great. So we're going to attempt to get this I don't even, I really don't know what this is. Unless that's supposed to be another mango, but it doesn't really look like a mango. There's a torn down wall, which is kind of suspicious. So we're gonna scout ahead and see what we can find. Oh, it literally just leads to the Drake. Okay, so that was pointless fear. As most fears are. I mean, let's be real. I'm very afraid of bears and uh, bees and for a lot of people, they would say that that's pretty irrational. And I would not disagree with them. So. All right, so in our remaining amount of time, I thought there was another bombable wall that I, yes, there it is. This one last time. I would like to go here. Yes, all right. So that's that's kind of nice. That's what the uh, a feature that the game has is it will, you can just kind of auto set it to do that, which I think is really nice. And you know, it'll just, you can just take a little cash stroll, which is perfect because that's what this channel is all about is being incredibly cash. So, gotta go up to where that wall is and blow it up. I think we have three bomb rocks at least, hopefully there it is. And we made it. Okay, so we can blow up this wall today, which is great. We can move away from that bomb rock so we don't blow ourselves up. As much as this is a cash run through, we also are very, I would say, cognizant of our own mortality. So we'll say that. And that's a cool fruit that's up there, but we won't be able to get it yet. This is a pressure plate puzzle that we'll have to come back and do later. So we will do that later. 
We also have this weird bulb warp here that we could try to kill it now. I don't know if I really have the right Pikmin to do. Oh, 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 it's coming in hot. It's coming in hot. Oh boy. Whew. All right, run. It can apparently clip through roots. Yeah, well, you turned your back on us. Now you're dead. That's right, sucker. Bam, got him. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's cheering like, yeah, we murdered something. That's the circle of life, sucker. How's that feel? All right. And in the remaining time we have left, we can have our yellows try to knock down this wall. Do I have all the captains with me? I guess I do. I don't actually have the ability to get into this area yet. We're just going to knock it down because we're not going in there. Not right away. This large open circle space. Nothing possibly wrong could be going in there. Nothing dangerous. No highly aggressive creatures. Definitely no bosses are in there. All right, looks like we might be able to knock this down just in time. Come on, yellows. Do your darndest. Hey, all right. So that's something that we'll worry about much, much later. Had a rock Pikmin fall asleep, as they do. I don't actually know. All right, it doesn't matter which way you go. We're all headed back to the Drake anyway. I think everybody is within the, the safety of the safety circle. Yeah, and there's three buried Pikmin, so we did it. That was a pretty great day. Took out some, some dangerous enemies, explored some more, blew up some walls. Pretty explosive adventure so far. I like watching Charlie waddle over the drake. Picked up some fruit. I think we've actually gotten all of the fruit involved so far. So, and what's nice is your buried Pikmin are not eligible to be eaten. So, sorry there, guy. Sorry, not sorry. I like that these episodes, you know, roughly a, a day of Pikmin is about 25 minutes long. So that's really nice. It's like a perfect episode length to to make some progress and to, to get things going. So I believe this is the lesser mock bottom. We have not gotten one of these yet. I believe this is a plum or a nectarine. <laughs> Looks like a butt. Anyway, I think that that's what that is. It looks, it's, it's purplish, so I'm assuming that's a plum. So if you haven't had a plum, well, you're plum out of luck. Another mangosteen. Yeah, the inside of a mangosteen, when you cut it open, it's kind of like this white, yellowish white color, which is kind of interesting. And the delectable bouquet. I don't know exactly what this is. I mean, it's not its not a mango. I don't know. I'll come back at you next episode with some information about whatever that is. I'll figure it out. Yeah, we have a huge fruit buffer now, so we've been absolutely killing it in these episodes. And that only got us a... Uh, a vial and a half, which is kind of disappointing. I would have thought it would have been more because it's kind of big. It took 10 Pikmin to bring that back. But yeah, 15 types. We're doing awesome. We'll have 20 after we gulp this one down. I wish they had like unique things that Brittany would say, like selfish things. It just kind of gets... It's a little redundant with her saying the same thing every time. Come on, Nintendo, do better with your eight and a half year old game. And we did lose a few Pikmin today, unfortunately. Three. That's not too bad. But look, we've got a pretty good amount. So we have cracked the 100 mark with all three, which is nice. We got that spacesuit to help bolster us. And uh, three fruit. We're doing awesome. Good job, everybody. And uh, another message from Alf. He seems to kind of be the journalist of the group, so that's okay. Several days have passed without any leads on the Cosmic Drive key. Searching for fruit is important, of course, but we really need to track down the signal that seems to be coming from Captain Olimar. The area where I first crashed. I have a feeling something big is there. Signed, Alf. Well, Alf, you're not wrong, but we're not going to explore that today. Maybe that area behind the electric gate would have something to do with it. But we'll have to find that out next time. This has been Pikmin 3. I've been D-Mike. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye.